Even in the fast-paced, computerized world of Generation Z, we discovered there's room for a 4,500-year-old instrument. And in this case, the music is medicine and the therapy for some. Highway to Susan Porter, Walt Buteau, has this week's Street Story. It is an ancient instrument, new again, in a place you might not expect for a reason that's all good. Erilyn Mitchell started playing the harp when she was only about nine years old. And the instrument was about 4,500 years old. It was bigger than her and even now weighs nearly as much as she does. Shortly after learning how to play, she was performing for nursing home patients. And for the past four years, she's volunteered at Newport Hospital and Charlton Memorial in Fall River. <laughs> Examples of her impact are heard from patients, including an elderly woman who one time listened to her for about an hour. And it turns out that her husband had just passed away the week before, and I just played their favorite song by chance. Just by chance. I mean, it was Someone to Watch Over Me by Gershwin. Just hearing little things like that and knowing that I've helped. From the sun-filled atrium, she heads upstairs playing for cancer patients and others going through the rigors of rehab from various ailments. Has he ever seen a heart before? Yeah, come here. Then there are the younger listeners like this little man who was here with his mom. Sometimes they'll kind of hide behind their parents' legs, but I like to have them come over and try it. Eventually, he was coaxed into tickling the strings himself. Hours of practice have brought this 18-year-old to great musical heights, including earning a spot to study at the Royal College of Music in the United Kingdom. She hopes to play professionally after college, but even then, she wants to continue to play for patients. I'll still do it. I'll find somewhere. You know, always. I've been doing it for so long that I can't imagine not doing at least a little bit of volunteering with my time. It's just it brings me joy playing and being able to share my music. That sound is about to head to Europe for a two-week tour with the Boston Philharmonic Youth Orchestra. In Newport, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.